It's taking a battering. Uh, let me see. That's now. not really what they want to hear in jail. <laughs> Why are you me? saying batter? Huh? Battering? You're talking to jail. You're using the word battering. I said Bitcoin. I didn't say Joe's taking a battery. Oh, you're on one today, bro. People would be saying, how can they support the channel? Chisel, buy, chisel. I've got tops, I've got hoodies. I've got the Dragon Ball Z tees, like the Pain and Full Star tees. You lot could support, buy some of the merch. I'll be able to churn out more content. This one, I'm just waiting by myself for the, for the moment and I'll bring out more colors. Please support. Nepotism is a good thing because um, unfortunately, I think we're at a point where everyone has to look after their own. And that sounds very bad, but like they've always done it. And I think we should primarily do it as well. Um, I just feel that when it comes to the corporate world, I think you have to ask yourself how many people are going for these interviews, how many people are in these spaces. I always say representation is key. So it's important for um, young black boys and young black girls to see people in those spaces and that they're actually making money. Mm. I remember I was speaking to one young boy the other day in Birmingham where his mum was telling him to go to university. And, and because, you know, he then said to her, mum, you've gone to university. Um, what are you doing? You are. Yeah. You know, that's the thing about it. when you're asking people to do these things and children are looking at the quality of life their parents have, and they're like, okay, you want me to follow your footsteps, but there's three of us sharing a room. This is mad, mum. This is bad. This is really bad for us, dad. You know, there's five kids. It's a free bed. You know, we're on a bunk bed. And the bunk bed squeaks. I fell off the bunk bed, dad, because the sides, you didn't fix the sides on properly, dad. You know, so it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit hard when you're trying to tell your child to go to uni and follow the, the good route and they don't see people doing it or when they do see people doing it unfortunately money talks and that's why it's important for any and i say this and sometimes people get onto me for any black person who is legit mm. in the corporate world non-corporate world self-employed mm. or anything you're doing if you're getting it in i don't i don't understand why you must dim your light because these young boys and young kids need to know that there's another route yeah and i think your guy was saying it on the other pod talking about um something it was a guy the guy the, the pod with the the one that you said had a hundred and something views on TikTok. That guy, I think the, he's got a clothing line, the Muller cake guy. Yeah. He was saying even he doesn't become a millionaire, he's yeah. happy that people can see that there's another way to get another yeah, route. Yeah. I'm selling clothes. Yeah, Dex, 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 Dex. Yeah, there's so yeah. many, and it's important that these young boys and young girls can see that there are other avenues and routes to making money. Nothing wrong with sports and entertainment, nothing wrong with it, but unfortunately, mm. there, is, there is a thing where you don't make it in that and you feel that there's nothing else that you can do. There's more money than having to do fraud. You can make money without having to do drugs. And once again, I don't sit here acting like I'm some goody two shoes. I've mm. done bad things. I've, I've committed crime. Even 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 today, just just before we started, mm -hmm. remember I was saying to you, was about starting to feel like myself. Yeah. And I was like, rah, two years, two years and a bit. I just felt off balance. Obviously, you know why that was. But uh, it was even down to. I woke up one day and snapped back out of it and I started doing simple maths like a few weeks yeah. ago. And I was like saying to myself, right, like, right, today, waking up doing Uber in the morning. Yeah. I said to Wes before, because man was such in a different down state without realizing how down I was at times, mm -hmm. I might get up at four o'clock. Yeah. And from four till 10 yeah. or four till nine, if I had a gap like that, I was still in the same spot and not move. Yeah. And I was like, right. Uh, that's not, you get me? Yeah. Today, four o'clock, got up. I'm like, ah, oh, it's dark. Why am I awake? I can feel I'm not tired. I just yeah. jumped in the shower, jumped in my car, yeah. and I said, rah, it's Monday. If I, yeah. make, if I make this, I'm out before, yeah. before my first client. I'm good. So, but I thought now, sit back calculating, and I was like, rah, if I literally keep that same especially when I come back from holiday yeah if I keep that same pattern every day mm -hmm. what I'll be making monthly if I set myself if I literally follow the target I set what I'll be making monthly is very healthy yeah very very healthy mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean and it's just literally just getting back to discipline that's why before this COVID shit and before everything that happened before then I was always traveling because man was very very, very disciplined. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like everything was very routine. Remember all the time, you man are mm. away. I'm like, I'm gone. Yeah. Yeah. So now, getting back into that mind frame, I was like, right. All I have to do is do four hours of driving here, four hours of driving there. That's eight hours. Roughly in that time, you can make. Depending, on a normal day now, in eight hours. You can make 170, 180. Yeah. Yeah. On a good day, you can make more. Yeah. I, I tend to have 
more good days than normal days because I could hold conversation with people and for some weird reason everyone wants to talk when they when they're in a car even the people who put on the thing yeah. where it says oh you could choose silent mm. they start talking for some weird reason yeah. so I just hold normal conversations and next minute we're talking about everything that's happening in the world before you know we're talking about my youtube channel and that yeah so like a lot of people who end up mm. getting in my car end up following the youtube and yeah random stuff like that so uh yeah being being what i realize with most jobs like that and pt if you're not very good at talking to people mm -hmm. you limit how much money you can make by yeah because say for instance here yeah, if i do 40 hours in a week of driving, I could end up making like 100 pounds in tips just because I'm a people person. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But someone who's not... In a week, yeah? Yeah, just because I'm a people person because I'm good at talking. But someone who's not good at <laughs> talking yeah. is not going to hit the same thing. They might just make nothing. You get what I'm saying? Because people literally have to buy into you. Where's, 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 where's? Where's going to miss me, you know? Two weeks, you ain't going to see me. Like, this is going to cry. Oh my God. I miss Chiz. Oh my God. But why'd you put this voice on? I don't understand, but why'd you put on this Betty Boop voice? That's how you lot sound to me when, when it comes through my ears. I don't understand, like, like I mean, how West sounds, you mean? No, both of you still. No, I, don't, I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> when, I, really, I really don't get it. When it comes into my ears. It's, my when it comes into your ears. Oh, come on, man. No, 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 hey, where's no. man? No. This is my thing, like, you always talk about oh, me. Yeah. Today, um, how do you, look, look what you're doing today. Um... Like, look what you're doing today. Yo. Oh, yeah, some, someone's laughing at the, the last episode when Free Plates, they said, I left you to, to die. Yeah. You I heard, did, you heard I me did. struggling? No, I didn't leave you to die. You heard I me was struggling? There, I was there for you in spirit. No, you, like, you heard me struggling? I was there for you. I was there for you. I felt your pain. Oh, man. What do you mean? Wait a minute, you're just ticked off. You're just, you're uncontrollable oh, today. Oh, fam. You're uncontrollable. Just Man can't even feel set, pain. Bro. bro, just do your set, bro. You're just do your set. It's, 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 it's actually out of control today, mate. And you know, I'm usually just the one that doesn't understand when you do all this poor stuff, but just do your set, mate, please. He's become the poor's police. Did you see the thing about Pretty Patel the other day? What she do? Basically, under Section 60... Was she twerking? Um, then, huh? But she's twerking, you know, not serious. <laughs> under Section 60, she's changing the legislation and laws, basically now that back in the day, um, if you're going to stop and search somebody, you have to have suspicion yeah. that they will commit a crime. Yeah. Now we need suspicion that they may commit a crime. So now you can literally just stop and search willy-nilly. And the thing, the question now is, is that they're talking about knife crime and saying that they're doing this to basically try and reduce knife crime. And my thing is that I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to change anything. It ain't going to change nothing. Because I think you have to tackle the root problem. And also the issue I'm going to have with it now is that it's generally, not even generally speaking, look, if you look at the stats, it's black people that they're targeting. I think for every 1,000 people um, that are stopped, six of them are white. And for every 1,000 people that are stopped, 54 of them are black. That's mad. So you're technically seven times more likely to be stopped and searched if you're a black person than a white person. So my thing is that, yes, something needs to be done, but my problem is who are they going to be targeting when doing this? And the question is, is with the knife crime that's going on now, you know, just the other day we saw someone running down bricks and doing Sinbad the Sailor. The guy had one, one of these, I don't know, one of those Lord of the Rings knives. Like, I I don't even know where no, you buy these things No, he had a shotgun, bro. He a shotgun. He had, he had a hand. shotgun. Well, it, was, it was the one that, was one that was a knife somewhere. Where it was, was the, the kid in South Norwood. Oh, South Norwood. That so pulled yes, out on the, the, on the crazy woman. On the, on the woman outside the school. Yeah, so the woman's meant to, she's meant to have mental health issues and the kids should know that because they see her all the time. Okay. Apparently. So they're saying that normally, like she just walks up to people and, all right. and flinches them, but the kids should know that. So apparently the girls are throwing water on her. Then uh, the boys joining and mocking her then. Apparently, she started in the ute first. Mm -hmm. Then, where the videos come, mm -hmm. she's come back and when she's pushed him, mm -hmm. I was thinking, where the hell did he pull that knife from? Yeah. Because they just came out of nowhere. It was like, yeah. like, man just literally but, went but, shazam. But what scares me, though, is that there isn't any, I always say that there isn't no, there's no gauge to the level of violence anymore. Bro. Like, did that, did that, does that deserve the, a stabbing? The boys in year 10. Yeah, I don't know. Does it, that it deserve, deserve a stabbing? stabbing? The boys in year 10. And that's the part that I don't get. Not saying anything deserves a stabbing, but. There's no level anymore, and yeah. the question now is: is that people, these young lot don't fear, fear prison? I don't think they fear punishment. So I of guess the question don't. now is: is that what what is what is done to stop what's happening right now with knife crime? And I think before we start blaming the children, we have to blame who are raising them. And I say us older generation as a society, because they're a product of us. Yeah. 
whether you like it or not, they're a product of us. So the question now I, is, is... I think, I always say, I, I think our generation made you worse. Your, you pull your T-shirt down. Oh, you're looking at the veins, look at the shoulder, look at the separation. You see, if you bought my meal plan, <laughs> you might look like this. If you bought my online training, you might, might, keyword might, because I, I always outwork everyone. Pretty Patel is saying that you no longer need to have a suspicion that they will, it's now that they may. Yeah. When looking at the stats, for every 1,000 people that will stop and search, six of them were white. For every 1,054 of them were black, which, which the math says you're about seven or eight times more likely. So with these powers, is it, is it good that they're remember giving saying, you, that where police can now just stop and search if they think you're going to I was to saying do. on my man's podcast where, yeah. like, I don't even drive with my hoodie on no more. Yeah. And a lot of times I try to take off my hat while I'm driving. Yeah. And do you know how bad that is though? That yeah, even as grown annoying. adults. Even as grown adults. We still do that. Yeah. Because especially around when I go drive down them yeah. bits, I have to. Yeah. Because you're like, when you're driving down them bits working, you're like the only black man in the village where you stand out like a sore thumb, bro. Well, I guess because I guess, I I mean? you're not around from that area, could they just be arguing that you look suspicious? Because what are you doing here? I'm working, bro. Exactly. I'm working. My, my, my car shows... Yeah. I'm, I'm on a job and, and that's the part which I don't I, I think something needs to be done yeah. but I, I, I was saying the other day that over here what, what stop and search what stop and search to me like is is like you know like if your girl goes through your drawers and she might be going there every week she might find something it hasn't stopped the fact that he's cheating all you've done you've just you just caught him cheating he might just leave you and start cheating on someone else in the same way if you're going to take a knife off somebody called Greg on the street <laughs> if he's got gang problems all that all doesn't happen is that yeah you've taken Greg off the you street. see how Gabe was trying to normalize cheating in this episode What's that? what do you mean you've tried to normalize cheating no, in this I'm episode saying, but that's what it is you from know, the beginning the from the beginning he's tried to no it's stop and search yeah. if you do yeah. stop and search yeah you might have taken a knife off Greg all that's going to happen now is that instead of Greg doing the stabbing it's going to be Andy do you know what I mean? In the same way, if you're going to go through a guy's drawers, if you go through a guy's drawers 52 times in a year, you're going to find something. What are you going to find? Condoms? Oh, you might find something. You might find a pair of earrings. You know, you might find a love letter he's going to give to you. You know, it's, it's a lot of averages. When I say same with Chiz, like Chiz might go on the night and draw 20 girls. Eventually, he's going to get a number because he's drawn 20 girls. It's just a law of averages to stop and search. So Chiz will be in the club doing stop and search. He'll, he'll move to 20 women and he'll get one number. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's that hey, average. My average is better than that, no, man. No, I'm just saying that. Like, I'm trying to make you look like, like, like I'm Shaq at the free throw line. No, it's just a law of averages. Do you know what I mean? So we'll stop and search. Primarily, is it going to reduce, reduce maybe the amount of knives on the street at that particular moment? Yes. Is it going to reduce the stabbings? I don't think so. But then the question is, is what should they do? Brother, from the other day when, when them youths were chasing the youth, broad daylight. <laughs> yeah, this, this beef thing has, has gone to new levels now. Like, no one has fear no more. For you to be running down Brixton with a mash, yeah, the game's changed. Yeah. The game's changed. Yeah. Like, it, beef, is, beef is real beef now. Like, men them don't mind. Men them actually don't mind going to jail. Yep. Like, as long as that, they get their ups by any means necessary. Yeah, the, game, the game's different, boy. Yeah. yeah. And, and another thing, remember, the other day, I don't know if you saw it, did you see that footage where there was a young, young boy who basically had a watch wait, wait, in his let me, sock. Let me display dominance quickly. Let me, let me just show that I'm more powerful than Gabriel. But Gabriel, watch, watch, let me never display. Never came in your back garden. Hey, Gabriel, let me display dominance. Never came in your back garden. Shh. Gabriel. You should remember, be the strongest. Remember, I remember the King of the Hill video. But you should be the strongest. <sighs> Call me Hanma, Hanma Yujiro. I've been doing five reps and you're just doing all this talk. What? What? You better get five now, you know. What do you say, Gabriel? What if you live in the gym? I don't. What if your gym's in your house? Brother, I, I don't. Like, what? Like, I don't understand. I don't know, it's like a stripper like thinking she's great because she's got a pole in her house no, doing exercises. You're basically a stripper with a pole in your back garden. <laughs> <laughs> you're basically a move, man. You're a stripper with a pole in your back garden. You, you want... You want applause? Like a postman posting letters through the letter box. I'm not celebrating you. This is your post box. What's house puppy Jimin? He was Jimin Money. What's puppy Jimin? And Jimin Babes. You weren't Jimin. He was Jimin Insta Babes. You weren't Jimin. You know what's mad here? Have you seen pictures of Hush Puppy where they first time making money? No. In fact, he just looks slim. Just Serious? Look, yeah. But the money made him put on weight. When you're doing Monday, no, Tuesday. How, how far up does it need to go? That should be all right. When you're doing all the, you could go a tiny bit up if you want. When you're doing nightlife every day, 
champagne lifestyle and taking babes to toast them in expensive restaurants. Of course you're gonna get a belly. Imagine I was going inside in London five days a week doing lobster and champagne. Yeah. But I'm not laughing though, is it worth it though? You see all of that? Is it worth it though? You see what you've done, is it worth it? How many years have you been gone now? Two years? How many years are you looking to get? That, that man's case ain't even wait. Let me let me check his last picture. Cause him and Woody have been gone for two years, I think. Kind of thing. If someone said to me, All right, June, oh, June should make I think two years. We're talking about consequences for crime, yeah. I don't know. Are, are some are some crimes worth the consequence? Six June, twenty twenty. So he's been in now two years, yeah. Ain't been sentenced, has he? He's just chilling now. Chilling. Okay. No rent to pay. No mortgage to pay. No bills. No electric. No gas. <laughs> Boy. Not saying it's a bad idea, you know. <laughs> Living for free. Bitcoin, Bitcoin dip. So then no. those money that was in Bitcoin is is taking a battering. Let me see. That's now. not really what they want to hear in jail. <laughs> Why are you saying battering? Huh? Battering? You're talking jail, you're using the word battering. I said Bitcoin. I didn't say Joe's thinking of battering. I said Bitcoin. Whoa, gave me a pause. You're, man. you're on one today, bro. Hey, pause, man. What's Definitely wrong with you? on one today, bro. I said Bitcoin, not Joe. I didn't say he's taking a in jail. Right, let me see if I can get the five. Let me try and get three. I got three last time. Let me try and get four in it because obviously Jim, she's got Jim in his back garden, so. You see how really man makes using... excuses. Yeah. Like right. I tell I tell Gabriel, oh come Kings, let's train. You know where Gabriel goes to? You know where he goes? The gym group. He goes to the, the, the gym group early because he wants to he, he wants to show off in front of babes. Man I used to gym gym before, innit? Hey, this guy's a real chess guy, you know. I got videos here on Facebook here of you like in 09 yeah. doing 50 incline. kg. I used to do 50 kg yeah, dumbbells. Yeah. You're doing 50 incline. So they have to do was, yeah. was chest. No chest. legs. Yeah, upper chest and triceps. Real Johnny, Jonathan Bravo. Yeah, upper chest and triceps. That was the workout. Them yeah. days was the V-necks. So you could see the, <laughs> you could see the. With the hairy you chest. You see the bamba. I don't know what, what, what? Women don't like a bit of hair on the chest. Oh, what a man get onto me with hairy chest for? When it's holiday, man takes it off. But what man's in the and UK. Show, and show the pepper greens. It's cold, isn't it? Where's it's cold? Me. Man needs some extra warmth. You get me? Gabby, it's cold. Gabby, Gabby. But hey, ne next episode, I'm putting a chisel top on you. Yeah? No, 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 no. Bro, you, 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 got, you got to pay me for merchandise, bro. The, the man them don't even want to wreck me. You got to pay me for marketing, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You feeling sexy? You got to pay me for marketing. You can't just maybe put on a chisel top and get my followers seeing that and wearing it and think that I'm affiliated with the brand. Like, if you want me to be affiliated with the brand, you got to pay, bro. Uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of you wearing it and, and we're going to cross, no, <laughs> cross promote got, on me. No. And from now on, actually, can you blow out the lakey? <laughs> I just realised that like, people are going to think that I wear lakey. Yeah. You do. You know, I'm going to be like, I wear lakey. Fam, so I, I need I, you to wear this Don't out. you wear it like a daily every episode? You wear some but sort I'm of not, lakey. I'm not getting paid to wear this stuff. Huh? I just thought about it, you know. You're a criminal. Because you've got me wearing lakey. I'm not getting paid. I remember I bought this stuff. So I bought lakey. And I'm wearing Lakey, Support and people are seeing me wear Lakey and buying Lakey, and I'm not getting paid from Lakey. You're supporting a gang. What man. have you done for me, Lakey? It's, it's all for the gang. <laughs> nah, nah, 